For over a year, this minister denied the crisis in long-term care instead of stopping it. She refused to support seniors in long-term care. She stood by the Premier's fallacy of a ring, an iron ring around long-term care. She actually said in this House that they were moving quickly and reasonably, literally while the Canadian Armed Forces were, were finding people dying of neglect in long-term care homes. Speaker, this minister has tried to save the Ford government and save her own reputation instead of saving people in long-term care. How can anybody expect this minister can fix things when she can't even admit to her mistakes. Will she resign today? Take ministerial accountability for the things she was supposed to do and didn't do to protect seniors in long-term care. Minister of Long-Term Care to reply. Thank you, Speaker. If the Leader of the Opposition had done her job during the time that the previous Order. government Order. neglected long-term care, if you had been a voice if you had taken the opportunity that you had, years and years of runway that you wasted, that the Leader of the Opposition closed her eyes to, go back to the Hansard, look how many times she even bothered Order. to mention the long-term care word. Look at your failure. I was left to pick up the pieces from a devastating 15 years of neglect. I will not be spoken to that way by the Leader of the Opposition that order. neglected this sector opposition and the Opposition at the time neglected this sector. Order. 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 Just a second.